So you started working out, you started lifting, you're getting bigger. You maybe even started eating some protein powder, creatine, or pre-workout. But now that you're getting bigger and bigger, you've noticed that you're starting to break out. Acne is forming along your jawline, cheeks, forehead, and basically just everywhere. And now you want to know how to stop all of this. If this was you, I was in this exact same position about a year ago. And I'll be explaining to you why it's happening and how you can stop it. Now one of the most obvious things when it comes to when you start working out is that obviously you're going to be sweating much more. You're going to be lifting weights, you're going to do squats, deadlifts, bench, and obviously doing all these exercises is probably going to cause you to sweat. Now, if you aren't showering right after your gym session, odds are this is probably going to cause you to get some acne on your face and maybe even on your body. And obviously the reason for this is quite simple. The sweat is going to stay on your body and as it dries up it's going to clog your pores and now you're going to break out as a result of this. So probably the simplest thing you can do is just shower right after your gym session. And if you don't have time to shower right after your gym session, maybe you have to go somewhere because you're in a rush, at least bare minimum, just wash your face with water. You don't need to do some crazy skincare routine after your gym session. Matter of fact, I'd say that if you're going to the gym during the day when it's an awkward time where you just don't want to shower because you usually just shower at nighttime, I would say that the best thing you can do is just wash your face with water and then once your face dries, put a moisturizer and sunscreen on. You don't have to do some crazy cleansing, moisturizing, exfoliating. You're probably doing way too much if you do that. You just need to moisturize so that your skin doesn't get super dry. And if it's still sunny outside, put some sunscreen on. You want to just protect your face from the UV rays. Now, you don't need to put on no serums. You don't need to put on no retinol. None of that. You don't have to redo your skincare routine. And if you are breaking it out still, then it's for another reason. Also, when it comes to sweating, you want to make sure that you wash out any hair product that you have before working out. And that just comes for any form of exercise. And the reason for this is that you don't want to have this hair product. And then once you start sweating, basically that hair product is going to drip down. It's going to get out of your hair and then it's going to get onto your forehead. And now your forehead is very sticky. And odds are the hair product you're using is probably terrible for your skin. The hair product is probably going to cause you to clog your pores. And then you're going to start breaking out because of it. Now for many people that are getting into the gym, starting to work out, it's probably one of the first times they've really done something that's intense on their body. And the thing about weightlifting is that because it's so intense, it's going to cause testosterone levels to increase. And so you're going to have this hormonal imbalance and your body isn't used to it at all because previously you didn't really work out, you didn't go to the gym, and you didn't really do any heavy weightlifting or anything like that. This can cause you to get acne and break out. Now you're probably asking, how do I deal with this? Do I quit working out? What do I do? Well, I wouldn't say that the best thing to do is to quit lifting just because you're starting to break out. The best thing you can do is just power through it. Just continue to work out and push through. Let your body acclimate to the conditions and you'll be fine. Just make sure you have some rest days and eventually your body should get used to weightlifting and you should be fine after maybe a few months. Now odds are if you're taking steroids, obviously you're going to get a bunch of acne. You're just not going to feel good at all. I don't understand why people decide to take steroids or anything like that when their initial goal was just to become more healthy and look slightly better. I don't think it's worth it in the long run. So yeah, I mean, if you're taking steroids and you have acne, it's pretty clear why. Now for many people that have just started weightlifting, a lot of them go on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, or whatever app. They start to look for ways to optimize their muscle growth through their diet. Now one supplement that almost everyone recommends is protein powder. Because of this, everyone just decided to buy some protein powder and have two shakes in the morning and the night. They just go crazy with the protein shakes. Now if you don't know what whey is, basically the simplest explanation is that when you first get Greek yogurt and you open up the container, you'll see at the top there's like this liquidy thing. You don't know what it is? Well, it's whey. And basically, that's dairy. And if you didn't know already, if you have too much dairy, odds are you're going to break out. Even if you have some small pieces of cheese every single day, that can add up and cause you to break out. But think about it, if you're having two shakes a day, maybe even just one, and you have a bunch of protein powder in there, maybe even have some milk, odds are you're going to break out because of it. Now, not everyone will break out because of dairy. Me personally, I don't really break out because of dairy. I only really break out because of sugar. Now you might be saying, okay, well, if I can't have whey protein powder, can I have plant-based protein powder? 
Well, in theory, yes. However, a lot of the plant-based protein powders are just not good for you. They're arguably worse than the whey protein powder because of all the unnatural ingredients that are in the plant protein powder. My best advice to you for those that are struggling with acne is just to cut out protein powders entirely. Protein powders are not necessary when it comes to hitting those protein goals, especially if you're bulking. You actually don't need a crazy amount of protein. A lot of people think that you need one gram of protein per pound of body weight, when in reality, to optimize muscle growth, you don't need that. You actually only need 0.64 to 0.77 grams of protein per pound of body weight. And that is way less than one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And so if you're over consuming protein, this could cause a hormonal imbalance. And so as a result, you're going to start to break out because you're just consuming way too much protein that your body doesn't need. If you are cutting, however, you probably do need slightly more protein, but you shouldn't be reaching one gram of protein per pound of body weight. This is just a myth. The reason why people say the statistic is that it's very easy to memorize. Now it is possible that your acne isn't because of the gym. It could also just be a coincidence. Maybe you started working out and a few months in, you started breaking out. It isn't necessarily caused by the gym, but it could be a factor to consider. So try to follow my advice that I said in this video. And if nothing works, it probably wasn't because of the gym. There's probably other things that are affecting it. Also, follow and DM me on Instagram, at choice.yt, because I respond better on Instagram. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment, and peace.